everybody, what's up? It's TJ with Sanctified Homes and Construction, and today I want to give you the two biggest mistakes I see people making when they're looking to build a custom home. And the first one is picking the wrong lot to build on, right? So we meet a lot of people that already have a lot, they've written an offer on a lot, and then we go look at it and you know, they might have a certain budget in mind and size house, but they didn't factor in that they need a longer driveway or that they bought a rural lot and there's well and septic on it. Or we might have to bring a bunch of fill and dump that into the lot. So that adds to your expense. So you need to really be considering and getting a builder on board with you when you're selecting your lot. We try to meet with our clients on their lots if they don't own one yet. So we can kind of look at the slope, see if you can get a walkout, see if there's gonna be any issues that we foresee and talk about additional expenses based on the lot you pick. Because if you buy a flat lot in town, that's different than let's say a half acre lot out in the country that we might need to put a culvert in and a longer driveway and a well and septic. And all of that plays into the cost. So we see a lot of people get burnt. I don't wanna say burned, but they end up having to increase their budget or lose out on stuff on their home because they picked the, long, the wrong lot to build on. So with that said, the second biggest, this might actually be my first biggest mistake, but it's number two in this video, is trying to go too fast. And you know, if you followed us for a while, we talk about how much goes into planning your house. So it's not just tie up the lot, get plans built and go, oh, okay, it's good, it fits, here's a budget, right? So when you go so fast like that, you're really missing out on a lot of the details that go into building your house, like are a bunch of your showers on exterior walls? How do you want your house to function so that maybe uh, you're separated from where your kids are or you want them closer together? Or can we take rooms and spin them different ways so that it works better flow wise? A lot of people get plans or they bring us plans that are already done and we'll look at those plans and just start asking questions and people don't necessarily know because uh, a designer or maybe a realtor made choices for you that weren't really your own. So we really like to dial in and go, hey, what is actually going in this house? We don't just put a kitchen in. I want you to pick appliances. Now, any of this stuff can change, but then we design that house around that. We sit and talk to you about what are some of the energy efficiency features that are important to you. Is having a clean, uh, livable, safe home important to you? Unfortunately, where we live, uh, our codes are very low, so I could build you a house in Wisconsin that is not clean and healthy. We could let all the radon gas come up from the basement that we want. We could let any air come in and out of your house that we want. But if it's important to you, and it's important to us, so we do this in all of our homes, but we make sure we're filtering all that air that comes into your house. These are conversations you have by sitting down and going slow and talking through the entire process. It's not about just deciding to build a house and then go, oh, let's just put an allowance in for the cabinets because let's say you put you know, $20,000 in and then you go meet with an Amish builder or you go to one of our local suppliers here that can literally custom make every edge in your cabinet, create your own stain for you and you really should have been at 50. You don't wanna get into a build where you see a ton of allowances in there because you're going too fast. Do you have a couple? Yeah, always. And are there little things that change? Yes, but really dialing in and going slow at the start so that everything goes smoothly later on is a huge detail that is, it's overlooked in my opinion by at least eight out of 10 builders. So go slower on the front end, dial in your details, make sure you have them right, make sure you're understanding what you're getting in your home. Are you getting a code built home? Are you doing things better for air sealing? Are you just taking whatever shingle package that the builder told you to put on your house because those were the cheapest shingles that are a 15 year shingle versus let's say, uh, you know, some of the shingles we're using that are a, a lot longer, durable, thicker shingles. So those are all things that you can pick from that actually affect the pricing of your house. So again, go slower on the front end. If you're building and have questions about specific areas, reach out to us, like, comment, subscribe, ask us things that you're thinking about as you're uh, as you're either on this journey or thinking about this journey of building a house. 
There is so many more mistakes that can happen, especially when we're talking about, you know, the selection phase and how the house lays out phase. Like I said earlier, you know, we'll see a lot of people that have bathtubs on an exterior wall. Totally fine, but you want to minimize that just because of the cold part. Or we'll see people put a bathtub on an exterior wall with the spigots and the water lines on that wall. You don't want to do that, especially in our climate. So again, go slower, uh, take your time on that process. If you're just trying to rush, I promise you're going to have way more headaches than if you take your time. So those are our two things for you today that you have to avoid um, when you're looking to build a custom home. So make sure you're getting the right lot. Make sure you're taking your time on the front end with the design process of your build. With that said, don't forget to raise your standard. We'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah.